It is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Podcast. Yes, I've got I've got Peter Beyond hanging out on the desk because I'm broadcasting, so he has to come lay on the desk, and that's fine. I like it. It's fantastic. It's good stuff. We are going to go to our next guest, who is going to join us live as live can get on uh, the big broadcast here. The Blood Moon Howlers. Blood Moon Howlers. Those guys. We're going to see what happens here. Wow. My mic got sent to the moon because of Peter. Let's try this. Let's see if we can find the... Peter just turned my mic off. Fantastic. Um, brother. We'll do that. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's try this again. I think I can answer the phone or answer the Skype. and There we go. I think we might have ourselves uh, a musician, maybe. A musician or two, as they say. And uh, we are back live here on our world-famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast. We are going to bring in all of our fun, fun, fun folks here. And uh, I, uh, I was originally going to try this. We, we have been trying this Instagram Live thing today, but... I gave up on that, so we are <laughs> we are just gonna we're gonna try that a, again a different day because I, I I think that's I don't know it, it 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 certainly is not working to where I thought it would be a really cool deal, but uh, it's more of a train wreck and more <laughs> of a uh, more of a problem. Uh, I, apparently, the only way you can get on Instagram Live is to use something called Yellow Duck, which I've downloaded. Which I really don't quite understand that either. Um, I, we had a guest on earlier who uh, wanted to know if I use OBS, and I said no. I use Manicam because it's easier. Because I'm kind of an idiot. But uh, we are going to go to our our guests here in just a few seconds. Uh, we are going to be live on the the Facebook, Periscope, and all these other places. And uh, as as Skype adjusts itself, I'll tell you, Skype has come a long way since I, since me and Ross, the boss, the rebel rousing ringleader, used to interview porn stars on Skype. Um, <laughs> Skype Skype really has uh, has has become a cool thing, um, and of course it, it's good during this whole uh, pandemic thing. Uh, but we are going to go live to the uh, to the old Skip Skype, the old Skyper Rooney, as I like to call it. And uh, John Mosier's back with us with his Kansas City Royals gear. And uh, Jay Bird Wells has got her ears, and uh, she's with us. Uh, she's broadcasting uh, she's from broadcast her undisclosed location. undisclosed location. And we have our and guests have with us. And, I, the, and supposedly somewhere there's an echo. I don't know what I'm hearing myself back back for but we'll we'll fix it somewhere um the blood moon howlers with us today how are you guys good. Good, man. How are you doing? Doing well so uh go ahead and introduce yourselves so so we know who we're chatting with here today you want to start sure i'm juju i'm matt and i'm brandon over here not with them in the in this other square. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I made a I made a uh, Jeopardy reference earlier, and uh, maybe we'll we'll make a Hollywood Squares reference here today. Yeah, uh, got a good thing going. You know, uh, I, I what was it? Jim J. Bullock was was, was on there. Was wasn't he always the center square? But uh, so <laughs> <laughs> so so Blood Moon Howlers. Tell tell me a little bit about what the hell the Blood Moon Howlers are. Do you want to take it, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are a band, for one, out of Los Angeles, California. Um, and, you know, I think Juju always is the best with describing our music because she has these very long adjectives to describe the sound. So, well, how would you <laughs> I do. Us, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think our adjectives are always changing every day. 
We try to make them change every day. Yeah. Uh, if the Rizza and Keith Richards gave birth to baby Krishna and it came to save the world with rock and roll. I think that's how <laughs> we were describing our music. That's class. fantastic. We were about it. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, how did the Blood Moon Howlers start? T- tell us a little about all this. It started with Juju and I. We started singing together, uh, doing just like acoustic songs and stuff. And then we uh, eventually wanted to branch out and get weirder with the music that we were making and get louder with the music that we were making. And and we uh, ended up starting to jam around. And uh, we uh, ended up finding Brandon through playing shows and... Uh, and all kind of once we found Brandon, just kind of fell into place, and we've just been playing ever since. Awesome! The Blood Moon yeah, Howlers with us up. today. They join us live here in our big program. And if you miss us on the on the live Sunday show, you can hear it on the mix each and every Tuesday. And uh, with us today, the Blood Moon Howlers, and uh, you can find them on Twitter at the B M H. B A N D and uh, so so talk to us about your uh, your social media following. It's huge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're always just trying to put out fun content for everybody and uh, come up with just silly ideas, especially right now when we're all quarantined. We just came out with a a new show called Beard Talk with the Blood Moon Howlers Love Series, um, where I. We all just talk about beards, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're like on all beards. different social medias. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, all and of we're that. about to drop a new music video for the single we just released. Nice. So tell Is us that about the one you released on the third. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, so tell us about this. The video or the tune? Both. Or both. All right. Uh, well, the song's called Moonlighters, and it's a song that we're super excited about. We we wrote it while uh, uh, we needed an opening song, a real fun opening song for our last tour that we were doing. So we threw that together pretty quick, and it it's just kind of went over well from day one. So uh, we're real excited about the song. And then the video that we just put out was... Uh, I think it's really cool because it's just showing um, a lot of in-home dancing and stuff, which I think is super necessary right now for everyone. And uh, and it was a, we were able to make it with the quarantine restrictions right now, where <laughs> we yeah, were we, able to. We filmed the first half before the quarantine, and then we had to film the second half after the quarantine. Um, so we had our film director like direct through uh, FaceTime, <laughs> but we made it work. And so uh, we're hoping it inspires a lot of like dance party quarantine kind of action for people uh-oh we got we got problems who's calling me i don't know is who it my game again? no it's 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 not it's not my game uh it's 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 our next guest but he's calling a little early so we are gonna go uh we are continuing here with the blood moon howlers and uh our next guest will join us here in just a few moments, but uh, he called in early. So uh, go ahead and uh, give us a, a little bit about the Blood Moon Howlers, about your uh, your website and what people can see when they head over there. Oh, well, let's see. Let's, it's on our website right now. <laughs> yeah. We're hoping that the website is just a, a landing page to direct people to listen to the music. Yeah. I can't think of what's actually on it right now either. <laughs> I think yeah, so we have some merch yeah. up on there. We got some posters. We got some cool shirts. Um, we have stickers and magnets and stuff. We're, we're actually coming up with a new uh, shirt design, so that'll be available soon. We have, like, custom tie-dye shirts and nice. acid wash shirts and stuff and CDs. No hats? We don't have any hats or beanies. We're, we're actually going to make beanies. Beanies soon, has got to be the sure. next step for sure. And we want to make um, uh, temporary tattoos. We're working on that. <laughs> actually, the, the real so, one we want to do is we want to do a quarantine mask, but it'll be a beard. Yeah. yeah. That was the latest talk. <laughs> so with all this fascination with beards, I assume you've heard that song, If Your Dad Doesn't Have a Beard, You Got Two Moms. <laughs> I haven't heard that. <laughs> But but whoever sings that speaks the truth. Yeah, very true. <laughs> okay. 
question real quick here. I'm, I'm looking at your site, and it's on the About page. Juju, were you the one that came up with the wording? It's, uh, not you having all the adjectives. It's got how you guys are a three-piece, psychedelic, swampy, neo-noir, blues rock band featuring both male and female vocal leads. And I'm yeah. like, okay, that's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, we had to cut that down, too. <laughs> I'm just impressed that I didn't screw up any of the words that much. <laughs> Quite a mouthful. You're a reader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have got uh, the Blood Moon Howlers with us today. We've got our next guest going to join us here in just a few moments. And uh, so what do you guys have, have planned when this is all over with? Are you going on a tour or are you going to put out a new record? What, tell us about all this. So we're actually, we had a whole tour planned and we have to um, at least postpone it. We're kind of just, you know, taking it day by day with that. But um, whenever we can kind of get back out there, we have um, a bunch of uh, like venues and stuff that we were supposed to play at. So we're going to figure that out. But we will tour again some sometime in the future. Yeah, we'll reschedule that tour. And then, yeah, we're, we're working on an album as well. Mm -hmm. um, we have a... Um, another single that we're probably going to release um before we follow through with the whole album thing but then uh we we have it in the works though i think we're going to take this quarantine time to our advantage of having the extra time and we're fortunate enough to be able to work remotely because we both have studios that we work out of and so That's just awesome. use this time to create and create and create and write and use yeah. the um the home time which sometimes can be rare when you're out on the road a lot to uh to our advantage the best that we can Awesome. We have got the Blood Moon Hellers with us today. Uh, Jay, do you have any questions for the band while we've got them here? Um, what inspired you guys to come together to work as a team? It was a, it was a pretty natural meeting, I feel like. I mean, uh, Juju and I uh, had been singing together, and then, you know, we, had, we were playing with uh, some other people and stuff, and then when... Uh, we met Brandon at a show that we played, like I said, and then what, what ended up happening is that other drummer that we were uh, playing with wasn't able to make a show, so we ended up hitting up Brandon. And uh, right away from rehearsals, we just felt like we got along real good and we enjoyed playing together. And the the first show we played, it was like we, we just felt like a whole new band. So uh, And just from there, it's just been getting better and better so i mean it was just enjoying each other's company i think that really made us want to work together like this yeah i always That's relate cool. being a band to being in a relationship because it's like all of us have played with a lot of really fantastic musicians we've been fortunate but there's like something when you all just click and it's almost like the technicality of how well you play doesn't matter it's like the energy and the vibe of how you relate where you go like well whatever is going on right now we just need to keep it going because this just feels really good and we just enjoy hanging out and creating together and i think that's why i was like yeah i'm on board right away you know nice. we have Very got nice. we have got a great guest with us today they join us live the blood moon howlers are with us here on our big program and uh so uh talk to me about some of your different musical heroes and inspirations Ooh. Want to start, Matt? We have, we have so sure. many. <laughs> yeah, this is always like the impossible one. But I think when we had to whittle it down last interview, it was uh, for I think the biggest ones probably Tom Waits, like one of the absolute favorites. All of the the old blues guys, you know, uh, Howlin' Wolf, Buddy Guy, and all those dudes. And um, I mean, of course, like Hendrix, all the '70s like psychedelic rock, Led Zeppelin, and all that kind of. All that kind of stuff, but there's a lot of interesting things in there too. Like a, a lot of us enjoy like uh, like funk music, like a lot of the uh, funkadelic Parliament stuff, or Nile Rodgers with like the Chic stuff and like that that record he did with Daft Punk and all kinds of different things, you know. I was really into um, like Ella Fitzgerald and Etta James uh, growing up, and a lot of Motown and. Uh, kind of all different types of genres and stuff. When, when juju and i started playing together we started playing a lot of jazz music and so there's like a little bit of that influence that always finds a way to into our music and creeps its way in with some some weird jazz dude chords every now and then <laughs> and brandon you um brandon has a lot of 
different inspirations too. Well, I think <laughs> I think what's fun is like when we when we write together, Matt will, and Juju will come to me with an idea, and they won't say anything about like you know, hey, I was listening to a lot of this. They'll come to me with something, and I'll hear something completely different over because maybe I was listening to a lot of West African music that week, and so I'll hear a completely dif- different beat over it, where it's not like, oh, here's your typical blues beat, here's your typical rock beat, where. I think that's the the benefit of having a lot of eclectic musical tastes is you hear things different depending on what you're being influenced by that week. You know, growing up, I listened to a lot of Parliament Funkadelic, like they raised me practically, and then a lot of Tool, a lot of Zeppelin, <laughs> Chili Peppers. That's so awesome. I think, you know, we hear things differently when we come together and write, and that's what's kind of fun is we try not to keep it like, oh, here's your typical funk song, here's your typical rock song. It kind of morphs into whatever... We allow it, they just try and allow it to be what it is as it goes. Yeah, we try and let each other stretch out a little bit with the ideas and stuff. And, and I think that we have a good balance of like making sure that it all works best for the song. And uh, we just try and keep that in mind and just try and 